All right, y'all. Just picked up some of this Jif Whips. It's uh, whipped peanut butter and maple brown sugar. I have never seen or heard of this stuff till tonight. I've heard of the Jif's Whips, but maple brown sugar, that's, uh, oh, I don't know. What I'm getting myself into here is this mini maple brown sugar and peanut butter parfaits. Oh, there's a little recipe on there on the top. See that? It shows you how you can make stuff with it. And while well, y'all take a gander at that, I'll give you some nutrition facts here. It's 140 calories. 100 of those calories are from fat. So 95 milligrams of sodium. Fiber, 2 grams. Sugar, 2 grams. Uh, 6 grams of carbohydrates. 5 grams of protein. Uh... No vitamin A, no vitamin C, 2% calcium, 2% iron, vitamin E, 8% riboflavin, and 2% niacin, 15%. And, of course, uh, seeing as how this is a peanut butter thing, uh, those of you who have peanut nut allergies, uh, I wouldn't recommend this. Uh, such as I said in the past, my uh, oldest boy has got allergies with nuts and peanuts and crap like that. So... If you do, it would probably not be a good thing for you to try. But, I don't, so I'm going to. Wow, she put up a hell of a fight. There's what we're dealing with. Wow, that has got a very strong smell. It smells like, uh... God, it smells like, uh, French toast and graham crackers mixed together or something. And speaking of which... Oh yes, you know what this is. These are my favorite graham crackers I've told you about numerous times. Well, maybe it's going to become numerous times. So, mm. here we go. We're going to do the taste test, everybody. And, of course, it's got to be on a graham cracker because graham crackers are what I like. That Reese's that I did a review on here a while back, I destroyed the whole jar just putting it on graham crackers pretty much. Uh, yeah, it's a... Pretty creamy stuff there. It's about the same consistency as peanut butter. Uh, yeah, uh, it's, it's it's got like an air fluff to it. It's not quite as thick as peanut butter. It looks like peanut butter. It doesn't smell like. I guess. I guess. Actually, what this smells like now, to be completely honest, is if you ever seen that cereal, that's the French toast crisp. And it's got the pictures of the little French toast on the front of it. That's cereal. That's what this smells like. Now that I have this, I had a couple chances to smell it. And my wife over here to my left. You keep moving my damn chair. Yeah, she's Why? giving me grief. Because it was in my way, honey. Well, I have a certain place. Well, I guess I've been owned. You've been told, boy. Would you like to try some of this stuff? Nope. Well, I see how you're a year loss. Oh, my game. Let's try this. Stuff I'm going to get kinky. Yeah, she's drinking on that new little shooters. With, it's called Kinky. With Chris Farley. It looks like, uh, I'll show you as a matter of fact, because she's got one right here. Of course, this is not what my video is about. And she's mixing it with her, she drinks Diet Mountain Dew. And, she, yeah, she's putting this <laughs> in it here. To me, it smells kind of like a cotton candy. It looks like UV, but anyways, let's give this Jif Whips a whirl. Mmm. Pretty good. It's just like peanut butter. And I would say I have a favorite beverage on stack, but I don't. But I got the next best thing is the Mountain Dew Amp Energy. I got to kick it up and not drink my caffeine tonight. That uh, apple arita I did earlier kind of slowed me down a bit, so I need some caffeine to put me back on step. Plus, it's been a very long, exhausting, busy day. You did it yourself. Oh well. So are the days of our lives, people. Oh yeah, I got some on my face. 
You need your shave. Yeah, probably. And color your hair. Nah. <laughs> I like the silver in your hair, but the beard's got to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to shave one of these days. I haven't been able to work for a while. Uh, my doctor's had me on a work release. Uh, I can still function and do whatnot, and you know, I'm mobile, but uh, as far as like being in the work scene for a whole shift, uh, right now I don't think my pain level would allow it, and... My doctor has got me on release from work. This will probably be the last one of this I'm going to do here. Uh, I'm going to try to wind this video up before it gets out of control on time. i got a few other things I want to do reviews on here yet this evening. And from the looks of it, my wife wants to go have a cigarette here momentarily, so I better quit rambling and start eating. Right, right. Isn't that right, my wavy baby gravy? Hey, hey! I ain't scared of the dark. Mm -hmm, good, man. Except for the bats. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Pretty good stuff, man. Judging by the amount that's in here, it's probably gonna take me a considerable amount of time to knock this jar out. See how my wife don't want nothing to do with it. Yeah, it's definitely gonna take me a while. I knew I had one of these handy. Darling, I moved off my table, so. Oh, yeah. That was all my fault. I was going to do my videos over here on the table, but my batteries are dead, so I have to plug it in the wall. So I'm going to put shit back here in a minute. Not until I fix it. Nope, nope. Nope, nope. She it. says, hey, you're dragging all my shit away from me. That was uneven. This whole world is uneven, baby. Anyway, y'all, uh, there you have it. My uh, silly review on Jif Whips. It's pretty good stuff. I'd have to recommend it. Uh, and I'd probably, at the present point in time, I'd recommend about a 3 out of 5 on this. It does say limited edition right there. So I imagine it's probably not going to be available too long. So if you haven't had a chance to try it, and this is the kind of stuff you like, you might want to go out and grab yourself some before it's it's not on the shelves no more. There you have it, everybody. That's my review on the Jif Whips. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and uh, subscribe, and let me know what you thought of this, if you happen to try it or even care. And uh, until next time, everybody, take it easy.